Hi, and welcome to this presentation on GreenTree Workflow. Today, specifically, we're going to look at workflow desktops. Here we are as a user logged into GreenTree. Now, normally when a user logs into GreenTree and they're using Workflow, they wouldn't have a blank desktop as we're seeing here. Normally what they'd see is their own active workflow desktop. So let's have a look at a couple of different desktops that could be configured for each user in the organization. If I worked in the finance department, I might have a desktop that shows me things like, for example, a couple of graphs. Here I can see my top customers and my top inventory items. Summary of financial totals, so I can see what our customers owe us, what we owe our suppliers, how much money we have in our bank account, inventory on hand and so forth. A summary of outwards cash and inwards cash going forward in time. Our sales for the period, month to date, year to date and versus budget as well. But depending on my role in the organisation, I might have a different desktop configured for me. For example, if I worked in a distribution company, I might have an entirely different desk than the one we just saw. Here I can see a live list of my customer back orders. So as a new order is raised, if it happens to go onto back order, I'm going to know about it straight away, even if it's raised by another user in the organisation. Here I can see the orders that are waiting to be picked. So they're in our system and the warehouse are aware of them, but at this stage they're not yet being picked. You'll see some of these orders are actually in different colours. If I click on the key here, it shows me why. Some of these customers are priority one customers and some are priority two. Further down I can see some of the orders are currently being picked, possibly using our mobility solutions, and those that have gone out the door are now ready to invoice. As a user, as I'm entering a sales order, so I'll just go into my favourites here and start entering an order for a customer. As you can see here, the desktops are completely interactive. As I choose a customer on my order entry screen, information relating to that customer has automatically loaded because my workflow desk has been configured to show relevant information as I'm actually entering my order. As I go along here, I'm going to um, add a inventory item to my order and you can see more relevant information has come up on the screen. I can see a photograph of the item that I'm selling to the customer, how much is in stock in each different warehouse, if this particular item is committed to other customer orders, I can see the outstanding purchase orders for this particular item so I can inform the customer if we have stock coming in and when that is. As I move along through the order, and we'll sell them one of those, as I get to the second line item, the customer said to me I want to buy the same desktop that I bought last time. Now because I actually have their recent sales on the screen, from the desktop I can simply grab that particular item and drop it into my order and I can move along. As you can see here, again the desktop is updated relevant to the product that I'm now looking at. Okay, let's look at an another desk now, so we'll just jump out of here and we'll jump into service. So imagine we're a company um, looking after all of our customers um, equipment or assets. Now if I was the service manager, I may have a desktop that's showing me here a planner where I can see all of my resources going down the screen. I can see all the uh, service jobs that have been allocated to my employees. Uh, in white here I can actually see all the leave requests that have been approved so I can see when they are and aren't at work. And at the top of the screen here I've got a list of unassigned service jobs. So as the service manager I can quickly see, um, for example, what type of service it is, who, what the priority is, what the summary is. And with all of these desktops, all the data is drillable, so from there I can actually get into the actual record itself. So here I can see, for example, uh, which company it's for, who the contact is, all the information about the service request if I like. What I want to do though is actually allocate this job to be done by one of my staff, so if I like I can drag that from the top and I might want to give that to Cameron and give him that job then and I know actually that's actually going to take longer than just a day so we'll drag that out I think he'll be there till Thursday looking after that. By doing that um, Cameron is aware of it too. Now depending on what Cameron's using he may see it on his desktop immediately as I make the change or GreenTree may send him an email or it may update on his on PDA device if he's Green Tree, using GreenTree mobility. So with this generic planner I can see all that information. I have a lot of different options here as to I can move through time so I can jump back a month or jump forward a month if I like. Um, I can change the options of the setup so I can change the time interval if I want to so it doesn't have to be a daily interval. I might want to look at a half day interval or, or, or a, a half hourly interval if I like when I'm looking at this particular planner. There's one last example. Let's have a look at um, a CRM uh, type of desk. So here we are looking at a, a desktop that say a, a, a sales supervisor may have um, and they're having a look at, uh, they've got a list of their current leads on the screen, uh, their open quotes, they can see their team's quotes as well, 
Um, they're seeing their team's follow-ups and communications. Um, they have lists of other things on the screen as well. Um, now as this sales supervisor, I may want to see what is on other people's desks. So, for example, I can have a look here and see which quotes Amanda is currently uh, dealing with. Uh, if I flick over to Angela, I can see Angela's only got one quote on her um, list at the moment. As the sales supervisor, I may decide that this quote here, 1016, I might decide that I uh, want Angela to look after that by simply by dragging and dropping that quote, I've reassigned it to her. And that's going to appear on her desk straight away, so she's aware of it. Or, again, I can have Green Tree notify her in another way. Uh, if I happen to get a phone call right now from one of my uh, one of our contacts, I'd probably load them up on the screen. So let's say Lisa has uh, just given us a call. So I go and uh, choose her. Now as I choose her, again I've got my workflow desk attuned to the fact that I'm dealing with somebody and it's showing me again relevant information. So here I can see my most recent communications with Lisa. Um, I can see that all the contacts that uh, work for the same company that Lisa does. And I can currently see the open quotes with that organisation. So if, I, if Lisa's going to ask me about one of those quotes, I can drill into it from here and answer her query. Um, if she asks me a question, something to do with Bob, I can simply single click on Bob and again my panel will change. So as you can see, workflow desktops are really configurable down to each person in the organisation as to what it is they need to know about and it's completely live. Thank you for watching this presentation on Green Tree Workflow.